You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. I'm trying to discover why, you know, why George Conway. Well, I understand why, but I'm wondering if there's a deeper meaning why George Conway, who was the spouse of uh, Kellyanne Conway, has been so negative against tribulation trouble. I understand why he's negative, but you would think that all these people would kind of, you know, keep silent about their negative. I'm sure Kellyanne Conway could say the same thing. So I'm wondering if maybe Kelly and George Conway's got some sort of a personal beef with Tribulation Trump because maybe Tribulation Trump has tried to put the squeeze on Kellyanne. Of course, I couldn't wonder why because she's so ugly, you know. But he may have tried to put the squeeze on her. And, Con and George Conway don't like it. And I think if, if I were George Conway, I wouldn't want my wife sucking up to anybody like to Trump the way she sucks up to Trump. I mean, would you? You know, so George had been slamming Trump uh, over the last few months. And here's a more recent uh, article regarding Conway gives Donald Trump a mocking new honor, new degree honor. Kellyanne Conway's husband, uh, this article, Kellyanne Conway's husband repeatedly bashed Trump with a belittering hashtag on Twitter. Uh, this is one, in quotations, honor President Donald Trump likely won't be boasting about. George Conway the husband of stop, top White House aide Kellyanne Conway returned to bashing Trump on Tuesday and Wednesday as he repeatedly tweeted a hashtag, summa cum liar is the hashtag. It was in a response to reports that Trump had tried to bury his school records, high school records, during uh, former President Barack Obama's time in office and the 2016 election campaign. Uh, I will concede him this, wrote Conway, wherever he goes and whatever he does, Trump will always be summa cum liar. That's why the summa cum laude, for those of you who may not be aware with the, the, uh, the Greek statements there. Uh, uh, is it Greek? I don't know what it is. Let me take that back. Anyway, uh, and that was a quote, by the way. Uh, I will concede him this, that wherever he, uh, okay, uh, George Conway added, last year Trump said he heard I was first in my class at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton Business Program, but Trump's name does not appear on the school's dean list or on the list of students who received the academic honor in the class of 68. Trump didn't go to Wharton. That's the first thing. That's why his name is not on anything. The boy lied. He lies about everything. He's been lying all his life. Anyway, Conway later agreed with Washington Post reporter Greg Miller's assertion that Trump almost always draws attention to his own insecurities in the way he attacks others. It's a pathological, uh, it's and, and a disease, Conway writes. So Trump, you know, says that uh, he was on the dean's list at Wharton School of Business. He, he never went there. Then he told his high school uh, uh, headmaster not to release his records. You know, and, and George Conway, who was the husband of Kellyanne Conway, who was always praising Trump. This, that girl, Kellyanne Conway, you know, she would, I, she, she in that, uh, you know, the Humpty Dumpty woman, uh, Sanders Huckabee uh, woman would be, uh, Huckabee Sanders rather, would, I mean, it's like they would die for this man. So what's up with that? What, what's going on? So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's, uh, maybe Con George Conway is, look at his wife, she's about as ugly as a, as a barbed wire fence. Look at her, both of them, both of them two of the ugliest women I've ever seen. Ugmo one and Ugmo two. They look both like a Bob Wife and 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 uh, this this Huckabee Sanders woman looks like a, you know what's wrong with her? One eye big, the other eye small. Look at her, my God from Zion. So anyway, here. So I think the thing of it is is this is that George Conway probably suspects that Trump is putting a squeeze on his wife. I think maybe you know, I can't imagine why Trump would though. I can't imagine why she'd want to be squeezed by Trump. That's probably even more important. <laughs> Trump has to pay for his thing. That's why he got he's got a slush fund for Stormy Daniels and 
Karen McDougal. This is a bit of a news blog we do, looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon. Uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the Word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly, sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said, whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I am he. I'm the Lord, sir. James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.